Welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Heavy Rain. Let's get right to Jaden. Tuesday, 7.55 p.m. 1.326 inches. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Stupid of this, Jimmy Jams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's zoom in. Baseball, really? Is this what we're doing right now? Alright. So this is a thing. <laughs> no one will ever suspect anything. One more. Bye bye brick wall. actually a thing. All right, let's see if there's anything different I can do in this position. Nope. Okay. I was getting kind of worried. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain, Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. What's up, FBI? Jaden, of course, we've been expecting yeah, you. Yeah, okay. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Good news or bad? Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, oh, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. So, is he British or is his uh, voice actor? Because idea isn't exactly a usual English accent. Or American, I suppose, accent. I think this was made outside of America, right? Yes, no? So we've got to find a place to sit down. Anywhere? Yes, no? Yeah, there we go. Close enough. The body of Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. 
An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, Have you seen these glasses? The killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. Did the killer leave any written evidence? It's good of him to have confidence. Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions, or anything like that? No. Yeah, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. Ooh. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Time for a couple more. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? You seem to be well informed. <laughs> Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. That's funny. We were planning How does to that kind of stuff get out? Few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. <laughs> According to certain sources, the town hall's been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation. Except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Interesting. Thank you for your cooperation. One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. All right. That was interesting. Cases front page news in all the papers. It's not going to be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Where is she? I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? I probably, uh... I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. <laughs> nope! <laughs> I have the distinct feeling that I wasn't supposed to be there. Oh! I have mud on my jeans. I guess had I not slipped, I probably would have, uh, not had that. Interesting. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Let's do it. Except it's X. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. I wonder if I actually have to find an, a cooler. Oh. Nice place. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. 
If you need anything, you know where to find me. Yeah, I need a fucking maid. Have we seen this place? It's a fucking dump! Okay, time to work. Alright, hold on. Does he need that water? Is that water? Can I take this? Guess not. I thought wrong. <coughs> Okay, yeah, uh, so you do have to press it not too fast. Interesting. We can make it work. Step one. Change the office. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, whoa. Perhaps not. See if this is any better. Nice. I can work with that. Yes. Uh. Do I actually have to choose? Look at all these. I'm so confused. I'm wasting everybody. Okay, last one. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, okay. Uh, hate to do this to you, but actually, <laughs> I kind of ran out of time there. So, we'll look through the evidence and stuff on the next episode of Heavy Rain. Please continue to join me. This is Eclipse, and I'm out. Peace!